What's going on guys and welcome back to Day Shift at Freddy's 2. Now of course we're going back into our save file right here because we left off defeating the Nightman and ooh, okay, we haven't seen this before. Alright, buy now. Buy a doggo right now, guys. Before we get into this video, of course, if you guys want to see more, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. And also, comment doggo if you guys want me to do another part on this series. And uh, let's get into this. So, well, this is desolate. <laughs> what the heck? We're in the sister location, like, ending room or whatever. Home sweet home. I could have sworn that, sworn that I lived in a shed somewhere. Oh crap. I might go and buy a doggo. Yeah, we might go and buy one of those things. They're so cute. Focus fusion. Those things are expensive, too. It's very late. It's time for you to get some should I, I reckon. I reckon? <laughs> what the heck? Are we living in the olden days? Uh oh, Fights Freeze 4. Oh, this is our bed. Oh, my God. This is so weird seeing how this, like... what? Why is there a doggo in our couch? Or in our, not our couch, our closet. Ah, time to get some should I. At least you'll get a lion since you know... Since you and Dave are going into work late tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Good night, Fusion. I forgot we're gonna be killing off Jimbo the janitor, man. I feel so bad. That I, I didn't even get to talk to the guy in this playthrough at all. Like he's just like some guy we're just killing. Off. Oh. Okay. What's that? Who's doing that? Good morning, Fusion. Ah, isn't it a grand afternoon? You're already almost two hours late for work. Oh, perfect. Just in time. Oh, pick up the phone. Oh, it's Dave. Sport. Yep. Man. How the f are you, Aubergine? Sup, man? <laughs> oh, please, no sport. Aubergine was my father. Call me a big, big. Oh baby. my. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to pull off our big plans? It's almost 2 p.m., man. Are we ready to pull them off? No sport. I wouldn't be surprised if phonies called you nine times today. No, he hasn't called me once. My phone says that I have 90 missed calls. Oh my, okay, maybe he has. Eh, uh, typical phony. Thumbtack, old sport. The show should have already started by now. It's time to show all these mugs of work. I'll meet you at work, old sport. In the meantime, enjoy your meme. No, oh, let me see. Oh, wow, that's, that's a great meme. I know exactly what that's supposed to mean. Thanks, Dave. Okay, that's just an eggplant. You know, in some people's eyes, it's just an eggplant. In other people's eyes, it's something oh, else. Sport. I regret to inform you that I have not, in fact, sent you a hot off the press damn May May. I have sent you a picture of my father. <laughs> Wait, what? How is that his father? Sorry about that. Sport. His father is an I eggplant? That this may be traumatizing for you. Okay, my insides are on fire. I'll... I'll see you at work, Dave. I'll, I'll just, I'll see you at work. I'm gonna sneak into work and destroy the camera footage, old sport. In case Tony tries to show it to the police later. I'll Wait, why didn't he do that earlier? Alright, time to go to work. Huh. Dave is an effing delinquent. A hooligan. <laughs> time to go to work, I guess. Oh, man, time to kill off Jimbo and probably beat the game, guys. You arrived at work to work hours later. It's now 3 p.m. Time to start your day. Oh, man. All right, here we go. What up, phony? Employee, you're three hours late. What's the meaning of this? I had business to deal with. With purple text. Oh, no. You were having a lion, weren't you? Yes. Gosh darn it. Employee... Sorry about that, guys. I had a little bit of an interruption. But anyways, where's Jimbo performing? I want to see the janitor dance. Where's Jindo Jimbo performing? I gotta know. He's over there in party room, too. I like how he points. That's so funny looking. Okay. Thanks, phone man. Oh, time to go see Jimbo. Oh, there's Jimbo! <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> Peeking out from under the zoo. Look at me. I'm the golden bear now. Are you proud, father? Uh, what? Why aren't you dancing? Feels slightly sticky. Is it safe to dance in this thing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yes, yes, dance to your heart's okay, content. Here I go. Oh my god, no. Oh no. Bleeding, bleeding. Oh um, what the Oh my god. Discomfort. Oh god, this is uncomfortable at all. I'm so sorry, Jimbo. I'm so freaking sorry. Oh, I Oh, uh, no, I... Calm down, everyone. Jimbo just had a bit of a fall. 
He'll, he'll be perfectly fine. Jingbo will not be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, leave the restaurant in an orderly line. So, uh, Except you, employee. Please, come with me. He, he knows I did it with Dave, so, like, I don't even know why he's pretending like I didn't. I, I gotta go speak to you, but I don't want to do that. I gotta go speak to someone, okay? Uh, right now. Oh, no. He can't do anything, right? I mean, sure, he has a gun, because he shot us before, but... Oh, no. It's over. Employee, let me tell you something. I'm a very good boss. I run this place every single day. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just... Can we just stop for a second and just think about how the fact that Jimbo just got spring locked, he's bleeding everywhere, and we're just like, we just left him there and we're in the office now. Okay. I usually see through bullcrap quite easily. From the moment you got here, every dang thing that's gone wrong has gone wrong. You lured off kids and killed them with Dave. You've tampered with the robots, and you've lied to me several times. I'm pretty certain you had something to do with that suit going off during the show. I'd certainly explain why you arrived so late today. Oh, it would certainly uh, explain. You didn't want to wear that suit. You rigged it to go off. Bravo, Sherlock, bravo. Or why? I never, me? A murderer? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Employee, I can see right through Dave. Everyone can. That guy's transparent. <laughs> he screams fake. Old sport this and old sport that. I mean, who says old sport? He's artificial, and I can see that a mile away. But... You, you've killed, tampered, lied, and stolen, and the best part, you've destroyed every lick of evidence. All of the camera footage from this week is missing. I know you or Dave stole it just before the show. There isn't a dang thing I can show to the police. You're cunning in a way that I've never seen before. Yeah, getting away with it. Employee, I've got to hand it to you. It takes the truth to fool me, or close to it, and you've played me for a god dang fool. You're a wolf, employee. A suited predator. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, wow, he's really getting into this. I get it, I get it, I'm a monster. Or rather, an orange in a bear suit. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm an orange in a bear suit, sure, why not? I don't understand you, employee. You overslept this morning, but... I can't understand how you can sleep at all. Are you a father, employee? As if I'd tell you that, or no, I'm not a father. As if I'd tell you that, phony... You know what? Don't even bother answering. What? I did, wait, I just answered. Okay, whatever. You're incapable of telling the truth anyway. I'm going to let you in on something that you haven't considered. It's Christmas in a month. Did you know that? It's a lovely time of the year, isn't it? Dude, this sinister music. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, it's Christmas, all right. I'm not a Christmassy person. Yeah, it's Christmas. Ten parents are going to wake up on Christmas morning this year. They're gonna walk downstairs to the living rooms. And you know what they're gonna see? Not their children! <laughs> Ah, no, that's terrible. I open present under the Christmas tree. Those presents will never be opened. Well, wait, I mean, it, you just said Christmas is not here yet, so they probably don't even have presents. Let's be honest here. Anyways, those presents won't ever be touched. That's where they'll stay, under the Christmas tree, stagnant and untouched. Those presents will remain still and dead. Doesn't that sound familiar? Fine, fine, I get it. Or, oh, boo-hoo, I'm chaotic evil. <laughs> Let's do that one. That's the thing, employee. Unlike you, employee, I've had to meet those ten parents. I had to look them in the eyes and lie to them. I had to tell them that there's still hope that their kids can be found. I had to resist the urge to tell them to look inside the robots so they could see their kids again one last time. That's right. Don't play me for a fool. I can smell them, employee. They're rotting, and I can smell them. Yes, too much information. Oh, yeesh, too much information. Oh, come on, phony. Cut to the chase. Yeah, there you go. Cut to the chase, man. Mr. Cawthon? Don't you dare ever call me anything else ever again. We most certainly aren't friends, employee. Okay. Did you even find out what those five children's names were? I did. I've been hearing those names nonstop for the last three days. Those parents know what happened to their kids. There's been two funerals so far. I attended both of them. They lowered empty caskets into the ground. You and Dave didn't even leave anything for them to bury. Stay silent. We actually left the bodies scattered. Oh, God, that's a terrible lie. Uh, let's just... Yeah, let's say that we scattered the bodies. Why not? You think that matters now? You murdered small children, employee. Do you think they were even old enough to understand that you were murdering them? I hope not. I cannot believe you've been sleeping. I haven't slept all week. Oh, God, the phone guy's actually a normal guy. We're the evil one. Employee, I, I need to know. Please, be honest with me. For once in your life... 
Do you feel any remorse for what you've done? Any at all? Even a twinge of regret. I, I, I do. I do feel remorse. Brutal lie. We both know that I don't. You know what? Maybe he's recording us and he could be sending this to the police. I never thought about that, but I've seen it in movies, all right? We could be getting recorded right now. I thought as much. I see the truth now, employee. I can see what you are. You're soulless. I can see it in your eyes. We all can. And you are? Humans have no... I, I, <laughs> humans have... Wait, what the heck was the sentence? Humans have don't have phones for heads. I think he meant humans don't have phones for heads. I, I, I do have a soul. Lie. Nah, humans... Yeah, the phone head thing. I'm more human than you'll ever be. Hell, the robots are more human than you are. Especially after you put them in, people into this. You're a monster. I can see through that concealer. We all can. You have scars, deep, deep scars. Wait, I'm wearing makeup? <laughs> scars from an accident that nobody in their right mind could survive. You look like you're decomposing. Whatever you are, you aren't human. Perhaps you once were, but you're certainly not now. Ooh, that's deep, man. That's really deep. Oh, and before I forget, he's going to shoot me. You're fired. Oh, I'm free. I'm done with you. Never come back. Now, get the F out of my office. I'm out of here, dude. I got away with murder. That's actually pretty terrible. <laughs> That's terrible, man. We got away with murder. Oh, now we got to meet Dave in the back room. Let's see what he has to say. Hey there, old sport. What's on? What's with that orange grimace you have going on? Let's kill Dave. Phony just fired me and told me never to come back. I just got fired, man. It's your fault. Phony man fired me. He's done with me. Yeah, I just got fired. Uh oh. oh. Isn't that right? I don't like that old sport. Not we're gonna kill that. Phony? This is his fault. Oh, sport. we're gonna kill him. I think it's time. Look, this isn't something I predicted did happen. My plan involved finishing up today and going straight to Vegas. What? It seems that this is bother. Oh, sport. We've had some real misadventures together. We've killed ship, tampered with ship. Stolen ship. We've fucked up a lot of shit, old sport. <laughs> what? Those were all just petty schemes. We murdered kids, man. That ain't petty. For petty crap, it was sure a lot of fun. You know what? We murdered kids, man. That ain't petty. Hey, it's pretty tame. I say that we have one last grand performance. Oh, yeah. We're let's do it. One last stuff. We can go down with a bang. And the cannon will be aimed at phone face. <laughs> I like where this is going. What do you have in mind? But what about Vegas? You know what? I like where this is Let going. Me fill you in. Basically, remember what I did in Colorado. No, I really don't. You mean murdering children? Not especially, no. I tampered with the robots. I rigged up Bread Bear and knocked shit over and wreak havoc. Okay, I remember. Bread Bear attacked me. Sorry, man, my memory's fuzzy. You looking to repeat the past? Honestly, can't remember. My memory's pretty well, fuzzy. I guess it would be after the shit you've seen. Just between the two of us. I have big fucking plans, man. What if history was to repeat itself? We could rig a different robot this time. I have two perfect ones in mind. They're sitting in the parts and service room. Let's go give them a visit. Okay, I wonder who he's talking about. Because, like, spring... Freddy, he just used. Oh, but Balloon Boy and Foxy, what? Old sport, be all the salt of the earth, the cream of the crop. As you can see, I picked the two optimum choices: Baboon Child and the Moldy <laughs> Baboon <Fox>. Child, <laughs> Baboon Child and Moldy Fox. I've never heard Balloon Boy called Baboon Child. That's awesome. I would call him that from now on. No auto robots would cut it this time. Oh no, we're going all out, old sport. I calculated some shit and determined that these are the two robots most likely to traumatize its own face. It's time, old sport. Years from now, they're gonna remember this shit fest dance, the bite of 87. Oh, we're doing the Since bite of 87. Little son of a gun to this point, I'll let you choose which one of these assholes I beautify. Keep in mind, I only have the time to get one robot done for the Oh, okay, so this is why you can repeat your save. So if we want, we can go back and have him do another robot. Like, if we choose 
Baboon Boy, which is what I'm going to choose right now, we can then have him go back and do Foxy instead. Interesting. Go ahead, old sport. Choose one. All right, so we're going to choose BB. I choose the horrifying plastic balloon toddler. Ah, an excellent choice. Hates this character, old sport. Don't we all? I actually like Balloon Boy. Now, don't don't we all hate Balloon Boy? Let's be honest here. Come on. Ain't that the goddamn trouble? I know I sure do. I'll get working on the robot as soon as you leave, old sport. I think we're all set. If you'd like to ask me something before you go, now's the time. All right, so are we still going to Vegas, Papa? Tell me more about Henry. Tell me about the diner. Who worked there? How do you feel about Freddy's horror attraction? I'm going to go home and rest up. All right, so I, got, I want to ask him all of these questions. Bet your ass we are. <laughs> yeah, we're still going to Vegas. Night. We're going to be up to our asses in black jack and Dooker. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so tell me more about Henry. Oh, he was a really swell guy. He helped me out after the company bought Fred Bear's family diner. Killed a lot of kids to keep us in the black. Let me tell you, he was an artist. You should have seen the stunts that this son of a bitch both ever hear of the Freddy's blowtorch urinal incident. <laughs> it's a Freddy's blowtorch urinal incident. Seventeen fucking people ended up hospitalized in the aftermath. Henry is the reason the company had to start putting candles in the bathroom. Let me tell you, if I not listen to your solace, he's devil incarnate. What? I'll end this conversation here. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who's listening. Wait, what? Someone who's what? How's he listening? What does that mean? Okay, that's weird. Tell me about the diner. Wait, is he in one of these animatronic suits? Huh. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, tell me about the diner. Who worked there? Oh, not that many people. Before Freddy's bought it, Henry and I worked the day shift. We had a quick name, Ronaldo. Pretty sure he got a job at Freddy's after Fred Bears closed down. Pretty good chef. Knew how to use human meat effectively. We also had Night Guard, but I don't remember a lot about him. He had a mustache, if I recall correctly. He got stuffed into one of our spare suits, I think. Henry told me that he walked on a guy dying in one of the suits right in front of him. He didn't even put the poor bastard out of his misery. He just left him let the poor fucker ride away by himself in the bloody suit. Oh, like Springtrap. Unable to even move, let alone scream. I mean, it's not Springtrap, but you know what I mean. I tell you, even by my standards, Henry was one cruel fucker. Dang. Okay, so how do you feel about Freddy's horror attraction? I'm gonna be honest, old sport. If I end up as an exhibit in a horror attraction, as a rotting corpse stuck in a green <laughs> costume, oh, he's talking about <laughs> he's talking about spring trap. Oh man. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go home and rest up. Yes. Go home and rest up. Old sport, we have a big day ahead of us, and I don't want you to miss a second of it. Goodbye, old sport. For now, I bid you happy you. All right. Well, I love you, man. Thanks for all of the help. That's weird to add in at the end, but okay. See you at the party, old sport. All right. Wow, he had like an echo right there at the end. That was weird. All right, so 6 p.m., Going into, what are we on, Friday or Saturday? I think it's Saturday. And uh, this is where things are going to go down for sure. I don't know what exactly we're going to do, but it's going to be crazy. You had to work three hours late today. Wait, we were fired, though. How are we even back? You and I have rigging paid off quite well, and Dave's cunning plan came to fruition. You and Dave murdered Jimbo the janitor with a spring lock suit. Shortly after, Scott cut the bull crap and told you what he really thought of you. He fired you and told you never to return. However, Dave reached his hand out to you earlier and offered to help you get revenge. Dave let you choose between Balloon Boy and Foxy, knowing that those two robots had the potential to traumatize Phone Guy. You chose BB, and now Dave is working on that robot for the party tomorrow. Even though you were fired and told to never come back, you still plan to. You always come back, don't you? Five innocent children and a janitor. Was it worth it? You don't seem to regret a single moment of what you've done. The end. The ends justify the means. Castigate Redindo more as narrator. I don't know what that means. Just yeah, let's do that one. Okay, please step back, Fusion. Your.
a little too close. <laughs> You're a little too close for my liking. You're making me nervous now. You know, what phone guy said to you earlier, it wasn't too far off. You do sort of have that corpse look going as if you're rotting both on the outside and on the inside even if you have an inside oh if you even have an inside either way what's done is done i hope you're i hope you're happy with the world you've created tomorrow is yet another day see you at the party save yes we have to save in a brand new spot man i'm gonna have to go back through all 11 of those saves and like do a bunch of extra crap man because we got to go back and we still have to do a, a playthrough without being on dave's side because that's obviously going to be a whole nother playthrough oh what the heck can we play okay we can't play somebody's coming in oh what's he doing so that's got to be the suit with Jimbo in it. But why is it still there? Wait, that's Fredbear, actually. I don't know. What is he doing? Okay. Oh, it's going to say help us. Oh, help me. Oh, crap. He's not going to help him. There's no way. Whoa. Okay, this got kind of creepy, man. This took a dark turn. Ever since we talked to Phone Guy and he called me all those names, like, the game is really taking a dark path. I like it. <laughs> it's me. All right, here we go, guys. Going back to the pizzeria. Save. Oh, I mean, I don't really see the point of saving. We didn't, well, oh, yeah, we talked to the narrator right there, so I guess we'll save. All right, who's honking the the, ho the, the the hose, the nose? Wakey, wakey, fusion. It's time to get ready for work. Sounds like I have a mom. You have zany antics to pull with Dave today. You knowing Dave, he'll probably call you any second now. Yep, any second now. Oh, what the? What? Why does he look like he's naked? Old sport. Uh, hey Dave, you you been here long? Oh God, Dave's in my bedroom. Uh, you been here oh, long? Since about 4 a.m. What? How did he even get in? That's disturbing. You're a bit of a creep, Dave. Not gonna lie. That's yeah. You're a bit of a creep, Dave. Don't be shy, old sport. This is far from the first time I've seen you. Better. What? How has he been in here? Okay, that's creepy. Uh, Christ. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beginning. I thought he was supposed to be rigging the suits. Yes, let's. Or what the actual... Okay, yeah, yeah let's go back to the beginning. You on, old sport. We have such big plans for the day. Why I was he in my ready room? to have some fun. Sportsy. You know it, Davey. You seem slightly off, Dave. Yeah, Don't you do. Worry. Sportsy. We're almost at the end of our journey now. This is our last big huddle. The question is, are you ready to jump? I guess so. Definitely. We're going to destroy that insolent phone. Um, we're going to destroy the Good. insolent phone. First item on the agenda. Let's have some pre-honeymoon fun. Wait, pre-honeymoon? What are we married? <laughs> Take out your phone. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for, old sport? Whip it out. Okay. Okay, that's what she said. Ha ha ha. Ha. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Dave? Are, are you okay? Dave, buddy, you're staring, Dave. Sorry, old sport. It's been a while since I slept. I'm just so fucking excited. Okay. Have you been eating, Dave? Fine, fine. Here it is. Uh, have you been eating? Last I don't think you have. To eat in these busy times. Holy. Go Dave on, is killing himself. Take your phone out. All right. Good what going. now? Elderly again, old sport. What? Christ? I've always wanted to do this. Type in the numbers and call it out. Okay, are we gonna prank call? We're gonna call his head, aren't we? Five. 
five, one, nine. I feel like we're prank calling Dave right now. Or not Dave, the phone guy. Eight, okay. seven. I wonder if we call 911 if it does shush. anything. It's ringing. Okay, it's ringing. Here, let me do the talking. I know just what I have to say. Hello? Oh, it is Vogue. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Hello, is this Scott Carlton? Yes, it's me. Is that you, Dave? <laughs> what is this? We just called his head. Why'd you call me? Call my phone head, Dave. I need to ask you a question, Scott. Where are you? Why aren't you in work, Dave? You're late for work, employee. Wait, why did he follow? Uh, he fired me, but he didn't fire Dave. What? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. What's the question? At Freddy's, do you have children inside your robot? Oh my god. What? I... Oh, what? you do? Well then, you'd better let them down. Oh my... Okay then. All right. <laughs> Dave, I swear to gosh and golly gee, if you don't come to work right now, I'm going to... See you later, broski. Dave, don't you dare hang up that phone or I'll grab your... Skip... Uh, okay, it skipped the line without even me reading it. Okay. That was fun, old boy. We should go to work and show ourselves. It's time to show phony what true horror is. Okay, then you should clean yourself up first, though. First, have a shower, you effing zombie. Yeah, let's tell yeah, him that. Fine. I'm gonna look as fresh as a market plan, old sport. I use your shower, old sport. Oh, yeah, that's what I go want you to do. Work and go terrorize phony. I'll follow you over. After I'm done my shower. Fine, go shower, I'll see you at work. Or the shower's at the end of the hall on the left. Alright, I'll see you at work. Alright, so off to, off to work we go, leaving Dave behind at my shower. <laughs> You've arrived at Freddy's, time to have some fun. Oh no, we're back. Ah, Freddy Fazbenders, your former workplace and breeding ground for child murderers. Freddy Fazbender's the home of the Whopper. Or F this, I gotta go find the phone. No, Freddy Fazbender's the home of the Whopper. Wait, that isn't right. <laughs> Crap, yeah, that's candies. Alright, we don't even know where we're at anymore. F this, I'm just gonna go find Matt. Wait, why are we going to find Matt? I don't want to find Matt. Oh no. I like how the box is oh, still locked. Hey there. Orange guy. None of them have bothered to unlock the box this entire time. Why? Hey, Matt. What's up, my dearest virgin? Hey, Matt. What are you doing here? Didn't Mr. Cotham fire you yesterday? How does he know? 16 kids or whatever. How do they all know this? Yeah, sorta. That's my affair, Matthew. Okay, sure. Mr. Cotham told us that if you appeared today, that we have to tell him. Oh, crap. You gonna snitch on me, Matt? Tell him that I'm waiting for him. Okay, sure. If you say so. Oh my god. See you later, man. Goodbye, Matthew. See y'all later. Scary orange man. <laughs> Scary orange I like how everyone knows I'm a murderer that works there, but they're all just like okay with it. Like they know there's nothing they could do. This is a perfect place to confront the phone. It's time. Scott Cawthon? Come out of the shadows. I'm here to finish what I've started. Get over here and end this, you coward. I like how we're just in the middle of the freaking <laughs> diner. Fusion, you came back. Yes, I did. I always come back. I told you to never come back here. Leave now. We're prepared to experience a whole world of hurt. I'm going to kill you, Scott. Right here, right now. Your ride ends here, phony. Former employee, ju just back away. Okay? There's no need for... Oh, oh, we're fighting him. Phone guy emerged. Oh my god, here we go. N now, now, a former employee. There's no need for violence. Can we just settle this with words? It's time. Fight. Wait, what about Balloon Boy? Alright, smack him. I don't even think he's gonna hit us back. So that's how you want it, eh? Oh, God. Oh, no, he's pulling up the sleeves. So be it. Oh, my God. Former employee, please don't do this. 
fight. Wait, what? <laughs> this is we are number one in the background. <laughs> oh my god. Call Scott's phone head. This will show him. Uh, I didn't get to read it. Dang, it goes by too fast. Uh, what the? Phone guy's defense have been lowered to zero. All right, time to strike. Uh, 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 why, am, why am I negotiating with the child murderer? Stand down. Fight. And let's smack him. Here we go. You don't have to do this, former employee. You don't have to fight me. Just calm down and lower your fist. I don't want to. You aren't getting out of this beating, phony. No, I don't want to. Oh, 207 damage. Oh, my God. He, he, he smacked me back. All right, whatever. We can do this, guys. Smack him again. 205 damage. He smacked me 166. We're smacking each other right now. I got to heal, though. All right, we got 350 health back. And he smacked us again for 218. I'm going to go for the hit. This might be a little bit risky. There's no point to this. Former employee, you're hurting me. Won't fix anything. Scott, you don't understand. I want to. Oh, my God. 216. Oh, no. He smacked me for 154. We got to heal again. Here we go. Get that heal in. All right. Back up to 428. There we go. Come on. Fighting is incredibly overrated. Wouldn't you much rather play a nice game of Travel Scrabble? I kind of would. Have. Yeah, let's do that. It sucks that we can't be like, yeah, sure. You know what? Let's do that instead. Oh, oh we took no damage. Nice. We're getting a lot of hits in right now. You're not even damaging me. Wait, what? You're just making me suffer. Oh, that's kind of sad. I always play with my prey. Lax, I'm just having some fun, phony. Now, I always play with my prey. You really are a monster. I can't save myself with words. I can't prevent this. Oh, that's so sad. We're just fighting him to death and, like, messing with him. And we killed him. Orange guy was victorious. Okay, okay. I've had enough of the violence. I'm not going to fight you. I know that I can't fight you. I know what you are. I know that you'll keep coming back. I know that you'll outlive me. That you'll never stop. I know destiny when I stare it in the face, employee. I know that whether or not I run or attack you, one day you will step over my lifeless body without any hint of remorse. You're incapable of stopping. I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Wow, that's kind of dark. Holy crap. It's all fabricated, you know. Every detail of my life, my family, my job... It's just a safety net. Something to prevent me from tearing my own head off. I realized something. You want me to die. Far more than I want myself to be alive. Funny that... Stay silent. What is this? I can't bear this anymore. I can't bear being prey anymore. What, is he going to kill himself and blame it on me? I can't bear being afraid anymore. You're going to do it. So just get it over with. Kill me. Oh my. Do it. I don't know what this is leading up to. Kill me now. Oh, I know that that's what this is leading up to. I'm begging you. Go ahead. Just end it all right now. Get it over with. Strangle me. Shoot my head off. Snuff me out. I just want to see Caroline again. What? Caroline? Holy. Wait, who's Caroline? What is going on? No, no, no. Dave, good timing, Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey. All right, Dave. D Dave? Oh, gosh. D thank you. Thank Foxy you're here. I'm going to level with you, Dave. This man, Fusion, total psycho. In fact, I shouldn't even call him a man. It implies he that he's human. I like old sport. Only. He's a squirrel guy. Dave, please. Cut the bull crap. Just say bullshit, Scott. Uh, this guy's all kind of screwed up. Dave, you murder kids for a living, but even you have a twin of humanity inside uh, of you. You, know. you have hopes and dreams. This creature, sur surely even you can see it, Dave. I'm right here, man. <laughs> it doesn't have hopes and dreams. It thrives on death, destruction, and anarchy. It's a monster, he's Dave. My monster, own face, and he's a damn fine monster at that. He's Kitty Strangler version two. Yeah. He's hollow inside, Dave. Look at that soulless empty grin. These things happen sometimes. Dave, I'm warning you. It's only a matter of time before you're next. Please, don't do this. Get rid of him. For your sake. I have made my mind up. Oh, and I'd love to keep chatting. But I think we're done here. I have to strike the door. Oh, here comes enough. Balloon Boy. What do you mean by that? Dave. Check party room one. <laughs> if you're quick, you might get one last glimpse of your son before he gets charmed. Wait, his son? Wait, no. Oh, God. Come on, old boy. What We're is... We're gonna wanna see this. 
What did he do to his son? Oh my gosh! Oh. What on earth? Oh god, what the heck is that? What is that oh. thing? What did you do to the balloon child? What? Why is he holding Mr. Mike Jr.? Since day one, you've been a right foot in my side. Try not kill me, try not fire me, try not get rid of me, etc. Hell, I'm fairly certain that this whole party is a sting operation designed to capture me. I'm a big boy, scum. That, I can't take. What, yesterday evening, you fired old sport. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? You hurt me. I'm mad. You kill me. I'm annoyed. What? Don't you dare ever lay a hand on my orange what baby. What the heck? Okay. Don't talk to me or my old sport ever Oh my again. god. Baby, this is so terrible. Just what we do with snitches around here. Oh my- No, he's gonna eat his child! Oh my god! Holy crap! Mike Jr. No, did he just eat his child in front of his eyes? Or his- His phone dial? I don't know what he has for eyes. Oh my god. Do you realize how much frontal lobes cost, you scumbags? Gosh darn it. What? He just- What? I don't even- I don't- I don't even know anymore, dude. Well, that was fun. Sportsy, we fucked his life up. Yet again, I'd consider this a job well done. We kicked butt, man. I had fun, Dave. So, Vegas. Yeah, time for Vegas. Let's go, old sport. Tomorrow is gonna be fucking legendary. Alright, we're going to Vegas, baby. I wonder if this is the end of the game or not. Because we're already like almost 40 minutes in. Oh, we got the radical ending. We ended in Vegas, guys. We beat the game. Or one of the versions of the game. We still have to go back and be on Phony's side. Which is obviously going to be an entirely new playthrough. And uh, it's going to be pretty insane. This is just screenshots of us at, <laughs> at Vegas gambling. Alright, where's the stripper fox he's at? I know it's going to show up at some point. Come on. Oh, new picture. No, I think that's it. Oh, there it is. Oh, the stripper foxies. We made it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is so awesome. Oh, man. That was actually a really dark ending, though. Like, not gonna lie. That was pretty crazy there at the end. We killed his child. Wait, what is that? Thanks for the help, old sport. What is behind it? Oh, they're at a club. It looked like an animatronic face. And it's signed by Davey with the heart at the bottom. Aw, Dave really loves us, man. He, we've come a long way. Thanks for playing Dave's Death Freddy's 2. Congrats on getting a pretty fun ending. Go back to your last save point and rig Foxy for a whole new ending. I bet something extra interesting would happen if you retraced your steps from a certain Dave, Dave's Shift Death Freddy's 1 ending. Hint, hint. If you haven't yet, try to be a good guy to get the true ending of the game. As always, I'm Direct Doggo, and thanks for playing Dave's Shift Death Freddy's 2. Alright, well guys, that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another Day Shift at Phrase 2 video because we have to go back with the Rig Foxy. We also have to go back and do the good ending. There's a lot to do in this series. We still got probably five or six more videos left or even more. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.